Now you can get your very own life-size gladiator for your own home from Superstar Stand-Ups. These full-color cardboard-mounted figures have a strong backing strut to allow them to stand on any flat surface and are available as a special edition for gladiator fans. You can get Jet or the Mean Moody Wolf for only $19.99 plus £4 postage and packing by sending your order with payment to Department GL, Superstar Stand-Ups, P.O. Box 111, Bracknell, Berkshire, RG12 1LE, England. Or you can call our telephone hotline on 0344 302 383. 0344 302 383. Method of payment, check, access, visa, switch. Made payable to Superstar Stand-Ups Limited. Are you a real Gladiator fan? Stand up and be counted now. have returned with new events, new excitement and some new gladiators. But first, let's meet the girls. Welcome Panther. Back for a second season, Panther scored a hat-trick of bodybuilding championships. In addition to Miss Universe, she has reigned as Miss Britain, Miss Russia and Miss Europe. to her friends as Deadly, Nightshade. New to Gladiators, three-time Olympian, Commonwealth gold medalist in the seven-discipline heptathlon, the most physically demanding event in women's athletics. Swooping into Gladiators, it's Falcon. The second of our new gladiators, this bird of prey, is a former fitness and aerobics instructor. She took the Miss Natural Health title in 1992. Please meet Zodiac. Yes, our third newcomer to the team, Zodiac, is indeed British pole vaulting champion. It's amazing to think she only took up the event two years ago and successfully broke the British record four times in one afternoon. Can you match the With the sting in her tail, Scorpio! A former Miss World contender, Scorpio was Interschool's high jump champion for three years and in contrast, she also gained an honours degree at the Guildhall School of Drama. Electrifying Lightning! Also back for a second season with 23 gold medals to her name, Lightning is an accomplished gymnast having competed all over the world in the junior British squad. A gladiator guaranteed to strike twice. What more can I say? Here's Jets! Just look at that support. A former National Gymnast squad member, a professional dancer, actress and TV presenter. She's enough to make any young man turn cartwheels. Now, let's meet the boys. Foot five, 
21 stone, it's the Mighty Warrior! With a rugby league and rugby union background, Warrior played for the English under-19 rugby union squad and was the junior British decathlon champion. It's great to see him back in action after his dislocated knee last year, which sidelined this giant for six weeks. Foot four of sheer muscle is Saracen. He's back for a second season, the one and only Saracen. Once again, we're lucky to get him to take some time out from his heroic job as a London firefighter. Searching for his prey, it's Hunter. And looking at those stats, six foot three, over 18 stone with a 50 inch chest. It's incredible to think that this new gladiator is only 19 years of age. Contenders, watch out. He's mean, he's wild, he's wolf. Yes, the zoo have let him out again. Unleashed, unmerciful, and uncontrollable. The wolf is back. The deadly bite of Cobra! Cobra's a snake in the grass with a deadly bite. A martial arts expert and kickbox champion. Watch out, contenders. Old Snake Hips is back in town. As mighty as the wooden horse of Troy, it's Trojan! The last of our new gladiators, but certainly not the least. 18 stone, 54 inch chest. He played squash for Britain. And looking at that physique, I think he could squash anybody. He's undefeated. He's awesome. It's Shadow! What needs to be said? He's back. It took 15 years to build that body, and it's going to take a great contender to take it apart. Yes, the boys are back in town. Okay, you've met the gladiators. Let's look at the events. We have a pool of 12 different events. Six will be carried through from last year, plus six exciting new ones. The first, Skytrack. Situated 40 feet above the arena floor, the contenders will be attached to the Skytrack by two safety harnesses. They race around the figure of eight course, picking up 10 points for the first across the finish line. However, gladiators will be pursuing them, attempting to hit a detonator, which is being dragged by the contender. If it's struck, a small explosive will be fired on the contender's backpack, rooting them out of play. All's quiet until the whistle blows, then it's an action-packed scramble for the finish line. Contender against contender, with the gladiators is in hot pursuit in Skytrack. We guarantee the sparks will fly. Yes, that's Skytrack. The wall is back, proving a favorite from last year. This exciting 36-foot climb has been made more difficult by removing some of the essential hand grips. Powerball is one of my favorite new events, a cross between basketball and rugby. It's explosive action all the way. Contenders are allocated red or blue balls and must deposit them in the baskets. Two points awarded for the outer basket, three for that one in the center. Unfortunately for the two contenders, those baskets will be defended by three gladiators. Let's take a look at some of the action. War, contender and gladiator face each other on separate tilt tables. Both attached to the same rope, but because of their obvious weight advantage, gladiators are given the tougher task of standing on the higher tilt table. Rather like a seesaw, those tables can tip up at any time and dislodge them. Endurance, strength and balance are essential in this new event. Tank top returns. The aerial chess game where the contender must try to swing the 50 feet across to the gladiator's platform, or as the name of the event implies, enter the scoring zone and hang tough. I'm sure the contenders will be doing their best in swing shot, bouncing on their shock cords up to 24 feet in the air. They'll be trying to reach the highest scoring red balls. If you like bucking Broncos, you'll love Joust, where you not only have to remain on your sky bike, but you're also being clubbed by a gladiator. And by the way, there's nothing to hold on to apart from your own combat club. Blasting its way back is Danger Zone. With projectiles traveling at up to 80 miles an hour, it's hit or miss as to whether the contender will pick up any points. Gauntlet 
Ride is a brand new event. A contender races down the Gladiator Alleyway with the fastest through picking up the maximum points. But how would you like to run the gauntlet facing not one, not two, but three Gladiators armed with ramrods to slow you down? Suspension Bridge, another exciting combat game to add to our exciting pool of Gladiator events. The Gladiator Cheese Graters Atlaspheres are back. Those thunderbolts from hell are rocking and rolling over the pods to pick up the points. And the final event in our power pool is Duel. On guard! And believe me, the gladiators don't get it all their own way this year. Before we embark upon yet another exciting new series of gladiators, let's take a look at just how a successful mega production like this is conceived, put together and produced. To do this, we must go back four months and visit the Gladiators production office at London Weekend Television. Already, the contender applications are flooding in in their thousands. And the worries and responsibilities of staging this £3 million production fall at the feet of this man, series producer Nigel Lithgow. Six new games must be found, 32 contenders from nearly 10,000 applications, a live event at Wembley Arena imminent. All the concern of Nigel and his small pre-production team of just four people. Ken Warwick, program associate. Adrian Pegg, Production Manager. Andrew Norgate, Associate Producer. And Alison Matthew, Production Coordinator. Over the next six weeks, Nigel and his team will hold contender tryouts in ten venues throughout the country. Pick, design and have built six brand new games. Produce a live gladiator event for 30,000 people at Wembley Arena. And the task for the day, try and find five new gladiators. To do this, we must go just across the road to the gym of the Nautical College in South East London, where nearly 100 super fit hopefuls have come for an afternoon's physical torture, much to the amusement of the local school kids. Every hopeful must check in with Alison. Get a name tag and have a Polaroid taken. There must be no confusion as to who is who. Bodybuilding in conjunction with stamina and super fitness is a pastime that has many hundreds of thousands of dedicated enthusiasts. But those that make a successful professional living from it are relatively few. So the chance to pursue your hobby, get well paid and have instant fame is too attractive to turn down. So our hopefuls waste no time in warming up to the task. The successful ones must not only be tall, strong, well-defined, competitive and have a strong personality, but they must also have that certain something that a television audience can identify with. A communication with people that cannot be defined, but can be spotted immediately by the eye of an experienced television producer. A few reflective moments. A few guiding words with our fitness trainers, the inimitable John Anderson and Tom McNabb, and off we go. Let's listen to John Anderson welcoming everybody and explaining just what agony is going to be putting them through. We've got a whole range of tests you're going to do, and what will happen is you'll be, there'll be counters on every test, each one of you will score a number, and you'll be allocated points on the basis of that. We know you're strong, all of you are strong, we know you're all fit. What we're trying to do is identify those who are well equipped for the kind of activities that you'll meet in Gladiator. Three, two, one, go!
Did you knock it? Just let it be. Just hold it. I don't, I think that'll go in a minute, because you haven't twisted it You claim to the top by any means at all, and then you come down again. Now, there's one thing I should point out. When you're coming down, don't slide down, because that takes the skin off your hands. When you get blood on the rope, it's sticky for the next person climbing. Okay, so come down under control. Now, there's a million different ways of climbing. Climb any way you like. But uh, if you use your legs properly, you can get up and down, and it's a matter of skill. So you can go up there, stick your feet in like that, and you've got loads of support. You don't even need the hands just to hold you up easy. Okay, so no problem at all. Climb all the way to the top, touch there, come down hand over hand. All right? Dead simple.
that you'll, uh, some of you will be feeling a bit tired and a bit weary, probably quite unlike anything you've done before, fit though you are. Uh, we'd like to thank you all for coming today and we will endeavour to let you know by the end of the week what the situation is. So thank you very much all of you for coming along. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they seem to have all enjoyed it, but how many were successful? Oh. For some, the audition went on and on and on. Never mind, give us a kiss.
Wembley was an outstanding success. Over 93% capacity audiences over the five performances and another live show due to be staged early in the new year. Meanwhile, back at yet another gym in yet another part of London, the quest goes on. Believe it or not, but only one athlete from the hundred that came to the Nautical College tryout was deemed to have the right qualities to make a good gladiator. One male and two female gladiators are still required. Will any of these three fare any better? Here's Andrew Norgate demonstrating how a very fit person looks for a lost contact lens. And they're all having a good look. what you say, this exercise looks agony to me. Actually, it looks like agony to him too. Is Nigel impressed? His face says nothing. But notwithstanding this exercise, both of these two scored very highly. certainly do look the part. Could this possibly be the new Hunter? And this the new Zodiac? Finally, a brief mandatory bash with the pugil sticks to see if they have the right temperament. Hunter does, but I'm not so sure about John Anderson. Even the producer wants to get in on the act. I'll teach you to keep me waiting two months before auditioning for me. But decisions were finally made, and the new gladiators to join the team in Birmingham were... Falcon. Trojan. Nightshade, Hunter, and Zodiac. But who would they face? Back at the Gladiators production office, the applications for contender tryouts were still flooding in, in their thousands. Each one had to be vetted, placed on the computer database, and replied to. Finally, out of 10,000 entries received, 6,500 would-be contenders were invited to attend sports centres nationwide to place their bid to face the ultimate challenge. And come they did, from all walks of life. The young in body, the young in spirit. Those that found it relatively easy. Those that found it relatively difficult. and some that just came to hang around. There were those who found the running machine no problem at all. And those who would much rather run on a real road, or not at all. Some could do it all and more. Like eat the furniture. There was even a couple of contenders from the Ministry of Funny Walks. But for every one contender that made it, there were 50 that just didn't. And some learned the hard way that what goes up must come down. The trouble with these chaps was that they were so strong, you really had to watch who you were shaking hands with. But on 
a more serious note, the tryout's construction was vastly different than it was last year. It had to be. The show was such a success last year that the producers had over 6,000 more people to see. The abilities of the would-be contenders had to be readily and accurately assessed in a fraction of the time it took previously. So on the whistle, the first task of the day was to run 800 metres in under two and a half minutes. A formidable task in itself, especially for those who had never used a jogging machine before. A totally different feel than running on an ordinary road. This men's tryout you're watching was held at the Pickett's Lock Centre in London, where over the Easter period nearly 1,600 people were auditioned. Nearly one third of our entries were female, and although they were put through exactly the same course, we gave them 30 seconds more to complete the run. It looks like another 30 seconds would have been gratefully received by some of these chaps too. A quick drink. Two minutes respite for the rest of the chaps to catch up. It was time to gather their thoughts and recharge their batteries for the next discipline. Over 14 weekends and bank holidays, six and a half thousand people were seen in England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, all by the same five people. It was only fair that the criteria set for success was constant, and all for just 32 places. Ten straight arm chin-ups. No time limit for this one. In fact, the slower, the better. All entrants were required only to do the chin-up on command, and they must come to a straight arm and hang between each one. Another minute's break, and then the third and final physical hurdle. Along the monkey bars and up the rope twice in a controlled hand-over-hand -hand manner. Anybody found sliding down the rope stood the chance of being disqualified. For some, this didn't pose any problems. For the vast majority, those chin-ups had taken their toll, and that upper body strength, so important for gladiators, just wasn't there when it was needed. The heart is there, the spirit and determination there, but when the lactic acid hits you, there's only one way to go. There's nothing left. Absolutely nothing. Oh, who invented that? Who invented that? He did. It was hard work. For those physically fit enough to get through, there was a video interview to assess personality, and then those pugil sticks again. One whack from those, and your whole day flashes before your eyes. Once again, the ultimate challenge is back. You better be ready, no time to relax. Cause if you meet your opponent on the war, you better pick up the pace or you be taking a four. <laughs> Twisting and turning up on the start buttons. Playing the job, stabbing the club buttons. Club will be clubs, the only rule of the game. Keep your seat, compete to win, claim the fame. <laughs>
fear It's two on two which in a steel ball Crash and roll and score and trying to win it all But when it's time to get on the two table Tuck the ball with a vertical table With your opponent on the table above you Yeah, get down when we try to dislodge you So many drops to face it, still much more Fighting it out to make a top score Kicking it hard from their arrival Taking the gladiators on to make the final Let's now go over to a photographic studio in East London, where the new gladiators are getting their first taste of limelight. The press and PR people need a constant supply of up-to-date and fresh photographs for posters, programs and marketing product, not to mention the gladiators' Christmas card. because he's always worried about how his top lip sweats.
<sighs> nearly done it. Just a little bit more. It's time to get down to business, and the business is done here at the National Indoor Arena, home of the Gladiators. Before we start rolling those cameras, we have two weeks of exhaustive rehearsals, safety checks, and painstaking preparations. Oh, I see the men from Pickfords have arrived. Let's hope they don't break Warriors' crockery, and there's no time for lying down on the job. Oh well, just 40 winks then. He's taking far too many things off. But what happened last year though, what we did, we put the holes on. People rapidly learn. We rapidly learn to be the first like two hands. These, these guys have been used to the strolling of the wall. Now I have changed it so they, they have got specific things to do on it. First time they've tried it so, and they're going to learn it a lot better. Okay, what I'm doing here is taking holds off the wall to make it more difficult, make it more challenging for the, uh, for the contestants and for the gladiators. The idea is to start reasonably easy and then make it progressively more difficult as you get up the wall. I'm a little nervous. Come lower and then go to the left. Backs against the wall. Lower to turn. Your legs are going to go over on the left hand side now. Okay. No, keep the, keep the body, your legs up here. Look at the wall, keep looking at the wall. Cheers, thanks. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Gum shield. These are one size, I'm joking. Uh, they're big. They're it's big. alright until he gets the left hand, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, here goes, first time. Woo! You're going to roll around, right. go in and out of there for a while, okay? Just get the tip off. In and out of there, okay. And then what you're going to do now is, you're going to roll the pot across and get that, but then we're going to have a couple of impacts because it's important that you get this feeling of. Hammer, hammer. So right. we'll, we'll have several practices on the impact, okay? No problem. Good. Hammer, hammer. That's it, beautiful. That's better. That's better. Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, 30 seconds rest, and then the final, uh, final run. <laughs> Next time change, basically you're going to be a contender and Hunter, since you're so fresh, full of vitality, eager, ready to go, you will be the gladiator. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Number one. You can use your own technique. You just need to say that might be the best technique for you. This is, this is actually gone down now. Sorry. <laughs> this, is got, this is what I'm more into to me, by the way, we're doing terrible. God, it's hard work watching you sweat, I'll tell you. <laughs> Yeah. 
fly back and then flip the gun strap. We've seen this one, right? This is Hunter's, okay? As you can see, it's quite a deep laceration. But this, this has got uh, nothing to do with atmospheres. This is him having toast in the morning. <laughs> I'm glad we got a chance to do it again because I've only had like one go before. Um, I thought we'd have more practice, but we haven't, so I'm trying to get as much practice as I can in before we actually go up against contenders. So, yeah, try and make the most of today. Let's go another go. Let's try and do my best. <laughs> First time on the rings, um, it wasn't too bad. You feel it on the arms. Uh, you've got to keep your legs, lower body really relaxed. Um, all the movements with the back hand to get the swing. Apart from that, it was okay. All right, bring it right up. stone on it here, this bridge swings, you see it swinging now, you can see it swinging, you can feel it in that video, yeah? Well that's some new techniques for you you've never seen before, this is not for the faint of heart, believe me when I tell you, talk about the jewel, this is twice as hard as the jewel, I'm coming down Warren. Trojan, yeah. to the face, yeah. slide behind, over the top. I'm not scared. <laughs> Let's leave Cobra shaking in his boots for the moment and go backstage to the producer's office where Nigel and Ken are having a meeting with the music composer of the show, Muff Murfin. Last year, the Gladiators theme music and follow-up CD sold over 100,000 copies, earning all concerned a gold disc. The discussion in hand at the moment, however, is the music for the new games. This is the first time Nigel and Ken have heard the finished tracks, and the only problem seems to be the duration of each piece. Very often, it's difficult to say exactly how long a game will last until you're actually in a position to play it for real. And it'll be Ken's job to liaise with Muff and edit the music so that it starts on the whistle and finishes on the whistle. They're going to think I'm greedy here. I've worked hard today. Hi, welcome to the Warrior Workout Special. When you eat as much as me, you need three hands. So, this is really good. Thank you. Oh, 
vitamin C and oranges? Fabulous, thank you. <laughs> Carrot and apple go really well. This is really good. Mmm. Oh, it's Mmm. After the music meeting, Nigel has a pressing engagement in the hospitality suite on the other side of the arena. The first group of contenders has just arrived, and after a welcoming chat, they're going to see the Eliminator course for the first time. A final tweak of the rules from our experts, a fitting of costume and the all-important trainers, and onto the set with Nigel. He gives them a few helpful hints and reminds them that on gladiators, safety always comes first and the winning second. Remember the feet, the grip on the feet, the best grip is round, putting the foot on top. Go! Use your lower body, lower body, that's good, further one.
with it at all. I mean, everything else, you try, have the first go and it's, okay, it's a bit dicey. But the second go, you sort of get it immediately. But on this one, I just couldn't get it, you know, just try and try it again and just couldn't get the hang of it at all. Two, one, go! You'll notice that while the contenders are rehearsing, the gladiators are nowhere to be seen, and vice versa. This is no accident. It makes for a more exciting show if when they first meet, gladiator and contender know absolutely nothing of each other's prowess on any particular game. So where are the gladiators? Come with me and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> yeah, there's only one service. So the ultimate workout. Not in the mood today. Believe this, seeing is believing. Come inside. Tyson, you can't save me up, man. I can't get up. Contestants, we're ready. Did you enjoy that? Good. Well, today's work for a gladiator. Yo! Don't you just love a good workout?
One of the features on the new season is an insight into the individual gladiators, what their favourite food is, how they became a gladiator, their ambitions, a little bit about where they came from, and by the way of a taster, here's what Wolf had to say for himself. Hi. My parents abandoned me in Transylvania when I was a child, but I was brought up by a pack of wolves. My greatest achievement in Transylvania? I met Count Dracula. Ha <laughs> ha! I ate him. I went to finishing school. I'd been there a week, I finished the school. All the teachers at school disagreed with me. Maybe I ate them too quickly. How are my school friends? Ha <laughs> ha! Delicious! <laughs> my favourite actor is Mel Gibson. Because I look like him. Anyone who disagrees with that, better watch out! People often ask me what makes me angry. I'll tell you what makes me angry. People who keep asking me what makes me angry! All the other gladiators, they eat porridge for breakfast. But I've got my own ideas. <laughs> Let's hope he's only kidding. You'll be meeting Wolf and the rest of the team when the new series kicks off in a couple of weeks' time. Gladiators will once again be presented by John Fashionu and Ulrika Johnson. So we'll leave you with a glimpse of the action to come. Good night from me, John Sachs.
Stop.